In today's video, I'm going to give you an exact step-by-step -step guide in how to become a high value man. The first thing you have to understand is that this is not for guys that want to act like high value men. If you want to act like a high value man, this isn't for you. You need to actually become one because I have no interest in teaching random dudes how to act high value just so that they can get dumped after three weeks because the girl realizes that they suck. So I'm gonna actually tell you exactly how to become high value. And it's incredibly important that you do this because women want actual high value men. Women will test you for the rest of your life. And it's incredibly important that you understand that because if you don't, then you'll be butthurt and upset your whole life because women are constantly testing. They're constantly looking for inconsistencies. They're constantly looking for reasons why you might've been lying about who you are. And so you have to actually become the man you say you are. It's so important. So that's the first thing. That's the first disclaimer. I have my notes down here. I'm gonna be talking to you about how you can become high value. And this is not for men who wanna act high value. You need to do the hard work. This is for men that wanna actually be truly high value for the rest of their lives. Losers should click off the video. If you wanna be a loser that gets girls anyway, there's plenty of pickup artist stuff for you. There's plenty of stuff online about lines you can use to be a loser and still get women. It's possible, but I don't wanna teach that. So let's get into it. I am barely high value. So like a lot of you guys put me on this pedestal. You see me as like this guy that's really good with women and you see like these like highlight reels and stuff that I put in B-roll sometimes in my videos. And yeah, I've been with a lot of women. A lot of women like me. I'm attractive to a lot of women, but I'm barely high value. I'm still working every single day to be high values. This is the first thing you have to understand. It is a lifelong commitment to turn into a man that's high value to women, especially to a man that's high value that first like demands respect or commands respect from other men and women are also attracted to him. It takes a lot of work and it's a lifelong pursuit to level that up as much as possible, to get the most social status possible, to be the highest in the social hierarchy. You need to set higher goals. This is, this is my first step for becoming high value. Set higher goals. So you want to, in five years, just be more likable and you and maybe you make an extra $5,000 a year. That's a bullshit goal, bro. Set higher goals for yourself. You're gonna tell me things like, oh no, I could never get to the point where I'm making $10,000 a month with my own business. Oh, I could never be this guy that goes up to a woman confidently in five years and just like speaks my mind is like, hey, what's up, baby? I wanted to talk to you. And like says that with conviction and she's into it. I could never be that guy. I could never be a guy with big muscles that's lean, that has abs in five years. I can never be that guy. That's the mindset that's keeping you broke. It's keeping you lonely. It's keeping you away from the women you actually want. Think about anything. And I'm sure that there's something you've succeeded in to a decent level in your life. Like for me, it was basketball. Did you set high goals in that thing? Were you not confident? Were you disparaging yourself saying how you could never do X, Y, Z in that area of your life? If you've never succeeded in anything in your life, I wonder why. Because you need to start thinking bigger. Tell me right now, like I, I want you to actually write in the comments, what is the benefit of not setting ambitious goals? Other than the fact that obviously women want ambition, so it's, it's actively a negative to not be ambitious, but what is the benefit of setting small goals other than you don't get your feelings hurt if you don't reach them? It makes it easier to put in mediocre amounts of work. It makes it more likely that you're gonna be able to enjoy little instant gratification bullshit like scrolling on Instagram all day, watching too many YouTube videos. You won't have to put in as much work to achieve those small goals. Those are the only benefits. The only benefits to actually setting small goals is that you don't have to work hard. Everything else sucks. You date mediocre women, you settle with a woman you don't like, you have a mediocre looking body, you look in the mirror, you don't feel proud of yourself. You look in your bank account, you're a little bit upset because you have to pay for like your car broke down and you don't have an extra $2,000, you're fucking yourself by not setting goals. When you don't set clear, ambitious fucking goals, you will lose. And I've seen this for me personally in my own business. I've stagnated for a long time in my business before because I chose to not set goals. I chose to let life take me by the hand and just guide me. That is not a masculine thing to do. It's an incredibly feminine thing to do. And the more you do it, the more you're reinforcing this feminized behavior. And in men, feminine energy is weak as fuck. Feminine energy inside of men is so pathetic and sad. It leads to violence. It leads to overly emotional little boys running around and controlling everything in the world. And we don't want that. We need men that that are calm and strong and dominant because 
The fact is, in general, this is outside of dating. Other than the fact that women just want to be fucking dominated and no one's man enough except for the top 2%, 5% of men to actually dominate them. Other than that, like, the world just needs stronger men. You're seeing all the polarity politically. You're seeing all the bullshit going on. You're seeing all the shootings. You're seeing everything that's going on in the world. Why do you think that's happening? It's because men are weak. So this is incredibly important. It's, it's more important than just dating. So you need to set very clear, ambitious goals for yourself because the only way that you'll ever contribute to society the only way you'll ever actually have a life that you feel is meaningful. Like we're gonna die one day. You're gonna be laying on your deathbed. The only way you're gonna be proud of yourself, 85 year old version of you is gonna be proud of you is if you set ambitious goals and you strive every day to achieve them. That's it. Oh man, I wish I worked less on that bullshit nine to five and I worked on my vision. I wish I spent less time drinking beer with my shitty friends. I would have actually done something with my life. That's what you're gonna wish. You need to start dialing in the four pillars of masculinity. And you start setting clear goals for your focus. Where do you want your life to be in five to 10 years? What do you want your body to look like in five to 10 years? Get very clear. You wanna have abs. You wanna have arms that are this big. You wanna be this weight. You wanna be able to lift this much. What do your finances look like in five to 10 years? And how are you gonna execute on that to get there? You should have a clear plan for making seven to $10,000 per month. And I know that some of you are gonna be saying, oh, I can't do that. I can never do that. Yes, you can. There are people that drive Uber that make that. If you think that you can't do it, you are just not committed to excellence. You need to commit to excellence for the rest of your life. And honestly, if you're not ready to commit to excellence, that's fine. You can leave the channel. You don't need to be here. You need to commit to a life of excellence as a man, or you will be weak. You will be destroyed by society. You'll be sucked up and spit out if you don't set ambitious goals. You will just be used as ammunition for someone else's goals. You want that? Because I sure as hell don't. That's why I'm recording so much for YouTube. So set clear goals. Set clear goals for your finances, your focus, your body, and your communication. Every room you walk into, how do you want to feel? Do you want to be able to get up on stage and give a speech and talk to a room of people and command their attention? Do you want people to introduce themselves to you because they feel your presence from across the room because they can tell you're powerful? You know how to communicate your value, that you are high value. Set those clear goals. The exact thought process of I'm not good enough. I could never do that is keeping you stuck. And I want you to realize that lazy people, you can click off the video. You're destined for mediocrity. And that's okay. You can be mediocre. But if you're like me and you have this deep sense of fear about mediocrity and you would rather die than be mediocre, then you're in the right place because I'm gonna show you how to strive for a life of excellence. That's what I wanted to do on this channel. I would suggest you check out other videos on the channel where I talk more practically about how to establish some of these goals, set bigger goals. I have a bunch of ideas written down here, like how to bounce back from a breakup, how to feel like a man again, how to get your mojo back, how to avoid settling, how to avoid average chump syndrome, five things you can do to unlock daddy energy. I have a ton of videos planned and I've filmed a ton of videos in the past month showing you how to unlock that masculine ambition that's gonna have women throwing themselves at you. Because we get into this for the women. We get into this because we want women in our lives. We wanna have experiences around women. We want to catch up on all those experiences that we didn't have in our 20s or in our teens. We wanna be that guy that has a ton of women. And I've lived that life and I know it's great, but eventually it's gonna turn into something bigger. But here's the thing, until you get over that hump, until you destroy whatever need you have to be this guy that women are just in love with. You're never going to move on. You're never going to find the success that you actually want. I'm so grateful for me myself that I had so much success with women early in life because I put in that work and I went from the age of 18 to 23 and I was just chasing women, chasing women, chasing women. Because of that, now I can focus on other things. And I wasted a lot of time. And that's why I do my coaching because I wasted a lot of time. I probably could have gotten to that point in a year or two, but because I listened to the wrong people and because I made mistakes. It took like six, seven years and that's fine. But now I'm here to teach you so you can learn from my mistakes through my YouTube videos and my coaching. Okay, so like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below. Let me know what videos you wanna see in the future. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.